What's up guys, I'm Joshua Yale, comics editor at IGN and massive Green Lantern fan. This year is the 75th anniversary of the Emerald Crusader, and we're celebrating with some of our favorite adventures with Alan, Hal, Kyle, John, Guy, and my favorite, Simon. This is the DC All Access Top 10 Green Lantern Moments. We're kicking things off with Hal Jordan in a fight to save the universe against Krona and Necron in Tales of the Green Lantern Corps number three. When the battle seems lost, Hal summons the power of all Green Lanterns, living and dead, to topple the skeevy skeleton. Later, Hal turns down an offer to lead the Corps, saying he's just one of the gang. Single-handedly saving the universe is all part of a day's work for Green Lantern. In our number nine, Alan Scott is powerless after losing his Starheart while his son, Obsidian, tears Los Angeles to pieces. When the Flash races back with the Starheart, Alan is reborn with his Green Lantern identity. Alan admits that he was a deadbeat dad before taking down Obsidian to save his son's soul. Because sometimes being a Lantern isn't about cosmic powers, it's about family. Next up, Kyle Rayner is the only hope of stopping an interstellar AI named Solaris from destroying the sun. Solaris has the ability to learn its enemies' weaknesses and destroy them in minutes, but it's never seen the likes of Kyle's ring. Rainer turns Solaris into a supernova and, with an assist from future Superman, creates a giant construct to contain it and prevent destruction on a galactic scale. Lantern, one. Sentient computers that are also stars, zero. Kyle Rayner isn't the only one to save a sun from destruction. Guy Gardner does it too. To protect Oa's son from the Spider Guild, the self-proclaimed best Green Lantern rallies all the lanterns together to overcome their yellow impurity and destroy the Spider Guild's nest. As a result, Guy becomes the first member of the Core Honor Guard. Our number six comes during the Sinestro Core War, when Hal Jordan and Kyle Rayner face off with Sinestro on the rooftops of Coast City. Their lantern rings are all drained of their power, so it's down to a final fist fight between the two heroes and the man who led a war against the Green Lanterns. Hal sends a 2x4 splintering across Sinestro's face before Kyle tackles him through a window. In the end, Hal throws the proverbial cuffs on the Yellow Lantern, ending the war. Sinestro, you do not have the right to remain violent. Number five on the list stars Jon Stewart. Years earlier, Jon's arrogance resulted in the destruction of a planet called Xanchi, and it's always haunted him. Now, Xanchi and its former inhabitants have been resurrected by the Black Lanterns, who want to use it to destroy Coast City. As guilty as Jon feels for what happened, he finds the will to get over it. This bolsters him to make the hard choice to blow up Xanchi all over again, only this time to save millions of lives on Earth. Our number four moment shows just how powerful the Green Lantern ring can be. When Simon Baz learns how to harness his ring's power, the thing he wants to use it for the most is to wake his friend from a coma. A fellow Lantern tells Simon the ring can't raise the dead or cure an ill, but he won't accept it. Baz gathers all the power in his body and achieves the impossible. Remember kids, there can be miracles when you believe. Kyle Rayner and Jon Stewart rumble with Darkseid's son Graven to save a floating city in our number three. After Graven rips a hole through Ranagar and sends the city hurtling towards the planet below, an injured Jon uses his last strength to zap Graven with a Mega Zeta Beam. Meanwhile, Kyle summons all of his power to levitate the entire city and land it safely on the surface. Looks like Batman and Robin aren't the only dynamic duo. In Jeff Johns' classic Blackest Night story arc, Hal Jordan leads the United Lantern Corps in a battle against Necron. Just when it looks like the ruler of the Dead Zone might win, Hal merges with the White Entity and rallies a key group of heroes who, like him, once overcame death, turning them all into White Lanterns. The Entity then revives Black Hand, who pukes up a bunch of White Lantern rings that destroy Necron. It's an epic finale to an epic event. Also, defeated by Vomit, what a way to go. Our number one Green Lantern moment comes from the same issue as our number six. The book is that good. Hal Jordan begs the citizens of Coast City to evacuate during the Sinestro Corps War, but they trust Hal and Kyle to protect them and don't want to run. To show their solidarity, the people of Coast City illuminate green lights one by one until the entire city is bathed in an emerald glow. Hal and Kyle go into battle knowing they have the support of the very people it's their job to defend. It gives me chills every single time. Thanks to Joshua Yell from IGN for helping us out today. Now there have been tons of incredible Green Lantern moments over the past 75 years, and you can pre-order Green Lantern, a celebration of 75 years today if you want even more of Green Lantern's light. Plus, enter the sweepstakes at dccomics.com for your chance to win a Green Lantern prize pack that is worth over $500. It's got statues, action figures, graphic novels. I will be green with envy if you win it. I kind of want to win it myself. I do. No, I want to win it. Don't make me green with envy. <laughs>